Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. We're continuing our series of video and now it's time for one of my favorite part, the good and the bad. We're gonna figure what's wrong and what's good with the new Honda CRV 2017, completely redesigned. Let's start with the negative point. Well, the CVT. I know you don't like probably CVT, but they are useful, they are fuel efficient, and they are fast. And Honda mated that to that 1.5 liter engine. But you hear the sound, you hear it work. You need, you know, to get used with that transmission. You've got a sports mode, a hell mode, a D mode, uh, no paddle shift, simulated gears. When you're gonna step on it, it will feel strange. But it's efficient, but still, it's strange. Talking about hard acceleration, when you step on it, you will hear that noise coming out of that engine. Remember that it's a small 1.5 liter turbo that you might find also in the Honda Civic, but right now it's in a bigger vehicle, more heavy, so you can feel the grunt of that turbo engine in high revolution, so noisy under acceleration. The audio system, yes, you have a ton of watt power, but guess what? It doesn't feel like it. You don't hear that nice thump of the bass. Sometimes you feel some distortion and that awful multimedia system is back again. My God, Honda, why didn't you change it with the new redesign of the CRV? I have great hope for the new Odyssey where you will change that system, please just do it, please. Some technology, some security equipment, which is only available with the hall wheel drive. Why not put it also in the front wheel drive? That's a good question to ask the engineers of Honda. Another point, I'm not sure if it's a minus if, or if it's a plus. In the US, you have the chance to still have the 2.4 atmospheric engine without any turbo or supercharger, but here in Canada, it's 1.5 liter turbo only. How about reliability over time? Will it cost more to maintain a turbo engine? Usually it does. Usually I prefer a car with an atmospheric engine, but still the 2.4, less powerful than the turbo version, and more thirsty with fuel. So, I don't know, turbo, atmospheric, your choice. What do you think? Comment section down there below. Let's go with the plus point though. You've got an awesome look. Look at that, look at the redesign. It's a good mix between aggressive and it makes a figure, you know, it makes a standing. You look at that and you're telling yourself, wow, that's a Honda CRV. It's really changed over time. I like also the finishing outside, the finishing inside. Honda make great attention to detail and that's really good. Technology, 1.5 liter turbo, all wheel drive. You've got the multimedia system with Apple CarPlay. You've got tons of security features, that Ace body structure. Everything is in that car. I love that right now. You've got also a powerful turbo engine and that's good. Finally, some power in the Honda CRV. Remember the year in 1995? That was not good with power. Still, it was fuel efficient though. And it's still conserving a great resale value even if it's that old. So think about that over time. It's gonna be the same thing for that new CRV. How about Matt's grade? I'm gonna give it an A plus. It's well deserved because Cargo space, technology, fun engine, fun to drive, comfort for your passenger. What do you want more? No wonder everybody wants a sport utility vehicle right now. What do you think about that? Comment section down there below. Do a thumbs up because you like that video. And don't forget to subscribe because we are Car Question. Take care.